My name is Chion Wara. I am the Member of Parliament for Newcastle upon Tyne Central and I'm also the Shadow Minister for Industrial Strategy, Science and Innovation. Well, I think the biggest challenge, I mean we have many challenges, but the biggest challenges have to be, has to be skills. And that's like quite a broad term, obviously, but really what employers say to me now, you know, right now, is there are challenges in recruiting the right people. So I know that 97% of employers in the Northeast, for example, experienced challenges in recruiting people with the right skills just last year. And when we think about the future, and the fact that particularly that <laughs> whatever happens with Brexit, we want to be competing on the world stage in terms of a knowledge economy, in terms of high skill, high value, high production uh, services and, and products, then obviously we need a workforce with, with the right skills for that. And so we need to have um, access to education, you know, lifelong learning, as I'm a great champion of that, and there's been, you know, the, the cuts to further education and uh, part-time um, education as a consequence of the tuition fees etc but also you know skills which which as well as being you know, specific if you like in terms of I'm an engineer engineering technology skills we also need creativity because people need to the jobs of the future are the ones that robots can't do and that needs creativity as well as an understanding of all the you know, digital engineering maths a whole range of history a whole range of specific subjects if you like but it also it requires creativity and that means a real investment in skills well you know, the, the way to address the skills gap is to is through investment in skills so a, a labor's plan for example is to have you know, for the for the 21st, 22nd century, we need a national education service, just as we had an NHS, if you like, for the 20th century. So that would be education free at the point of consumption from the cradle to the grave. So that is making sure that we have access, everyone has access to skills, to retraining, to education throughout their lifetime. That's a big chunk of what we're doing. But I'd also say a big, a big thing is also is better equality of opportunity to accessing those skills. So we have, a, you know, we could solve the skills gap tomorrow if women and BAME uh, particularly, but also um, you know, disabled people if, if my, and working class people were properly represented. And I'm speaking as a chartered engineer myself, I can tell you, you know, the 10% of professional engineers in this country are women. You know, if we had if we had equal gender representation, we wouldn't have a skills gap. So we need to ensure, and I think I think industry is waking up to this now. And you know, it wasn't the case, you know, I would say, during a lot of my career. But we need to ensure that uh, companies and universities, you know, do what is what is needed to attract people, young people, people of all ages from all backgrounds into a wide range of sectors and that's underrepresentation of women in tech is a big issue but I'd also say the underrepresentation of men in things like in like the care sector or nursery education is also an issue we need to open up all sort of all sectors to people from all different backgrounds Well, that, uh, though may not sound it, is a political question because one of the things I am very keen to emphasise is that the consequences of technology are, in some ways, for us to decide. You know, we are not uh, passive in this. So, technology, and I always say, you know, robots aren't necessarily robots aren't going to necessarily going to steal your job. They're going to help create new jobs, the sort of jobs that we can't define yet, but in all kinds of different areas and free up from the mundane work but you know but they but unless the right incentives are there for employers to invest in people the right incentives are there to ensure that you know that that, that um, they have expansion in um, in the creative and diverse work that uh, that people can do then um, we may find that technology hollows out the working uh, sort of structure 
So we have a, huge, a small number of very elite jobs and a large number of low skilled jobs. Now, now I don't want that. What I want to see is, for example, is rather than technology, if you like, taking away retail jobs, what it means is that retail jobs, and you must remember that a large proportion of the UK workforce isn't actually retail jobs. Retail jobs become more interesting and more satisfying because the, the robot is taking your cash, but it's a person who's helping you decide what you want to buy, whether that's online or actually in a department store. Um, the best advice I received ever, and you know, I certainly used it in my career, was from my it was from my mum, which was that um, you know that I was uh, equal to anyone, and I had m just as much as right to be heard as anyone. Now it can be quite hard to believe that, especially if you're you know, 21 year old starting their first job in engineering and the only woman in the company or the or the lab. But that really uh, gave me the, if you like, the determination always to, uh, to, to fight for my, my right to be heard and be treated um, equally, you know, and not, not to think that any, kind, any challenge was be, beyond me. So that was certainly really formative in my career. And in terms of the best um, advice, um, the advice I would give to, 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 to professionals as well as that and as well as think always remembering that your your contribution <laughs> just as because other people take up all the airtime in the room doesn't mean that their contribution always means something but i'd also say you know don't be afraid to fail don't be afraid to fail and to have and to be laughed at even even because it's only through through failure that you can learn to be better and recognize your potential and rather than thinking you know about what um, you know what you can't do in terms of an opportunity or job just think that you will learn on the job and you will do it